What is new in Sahel? What is happening in the Sahel that is new? We know that Mali is a country that has a long history with Sondiata Keita, with Mansa Musa, and the Niger River flows there and supplies oil. And in the areas such as Tumbuktu in northern Mali, we know that they are major resources. The same with Guinea Conakry, which may not be described as being specifically in the Sahel, but is one of the countries that is supporting the activities that are going on in the Sahel to the extent that they are redefining how Europe, particularly France, relates with Africa. Which begs the question, what is new in Sahel? What is happening in the Sahel that is new? Is it a revival of pan-African spirit? Is it something that is going to change the complexion of that region and by extension change the complexion of the world? Commentators are now saying that while many are quick to characterize the changes in the Sahel as coup d'etat and therefore against the African Union declaration that Africa will not entertain none unconstitutional changes of power, Pan-Africanists and those who know how France is operating and has operated say these are not coup d'etat, these are revolutions. They are revolutions because it has become obvious that those who are lackeys of France in the Sahelian region were manipulating the electoral process, were using institutions such as the judiciary for purposes of perpetuating the French agenda. And that these young men from the military came out and said, no, when the people cannot do it through traditional revolution, we are going to do it through the barrel of the gun and use the institution of the military to change the equation. And they have changed the equation. How have they changed the equation? First, they are saying we are cutting political ties with Paris. Secondly, we are cutting economic ties with Paris. We are getting out of any organization which is led by France. We are cutting off the situation that compels us to use currency that is printed in France. We are ensuring that our resources are going to be refined and they are entering into arrangements with a number of countries including Russia and China to begin to build institutions and installations that are going to refine their uranium, refine their gold so that there is value addition. What is happening in the Sahelian region is in my submission and in the view of many independent commentators, the beginning of the total liberation not only of those countries but the former French colonies. And it is not lost on me that the leaders of that, those countries are sending a very clear message. They are sending the message that any institution which makes the claim that is a pan-African institution but is being controlled from outside will be defied. I remember that day, the day after the coup d'etat in Niger, and I remember the meetings that were held in Accra, Ghana, the meetings that were held in Abuja, Nigeria, the meetings that gave a 72-hour ultimatum to Niger and said, we are going to invade you, not in so many words, but we are not going to allow you. I remember the sanctions that were imposed upon Niger. And I remember all the three leaders, Traore in Burkina, and I remember the new leaders in Niger. I remember the leaders in Mali saying, we are now entering into a military pact. You attack Niger, you have attacked Mali, you attack Burkina, you have attacked Mali, and you have attacked Niger. And of course, even Dumbuya in Guinea Conakry said, we will join you. That 
is a new face. It is a face that was not contemplated and the Sahelian revolution, because it is a revolution, is beginning to redefine how former French colonies are relating with France at the critical levels, including the area of trade, including control of their militaries, including control of their language. And it is not lost on me that in Mali, they have actually declared that French is no longer the national language. Bambara is now the national language. It is a clear statement they are, that they are beginning to regain their independence and they are doing it in a manner that will was not anticipated and in a manner that was not contemplated. It begs the question, will the men in uniform continue to be in power until kingdom come? No. They have said in Burkina, they have said in Niger, they have said in Mali, they have said in Guinea Conakry, we are midwives. We have come here for a short time to clean up the mess that has been with us. We have come here to clean up the mess that the French have always created. We have come here to ensure that the insurgency, which is sponsored by the French in Burkina Faso, which is sponsored by them in Mali, which is sponsored by them in Niger, which is sponsored by them in uh, Guinea Conakry, that this insurgency will eliminate it and will introduce a new system of governance which will allow the peoples of our country to participate in their governance without being controlled from Paris. They are saying that we have been puppets for too long. We are now regaining our independence and this revolution is a revolution which is unique, is a revolution which is being defined and refined by young Africans whose agenda is the spirit of Pan-Africanism. The Sahelian revolution is a revolution which will change the continent of Africa and redefine Africa's relationship with the former colonizers.